For nothing. For nothing? Well, practically nothing. Come on, Ann. Are you sure there's room? Lady, we make our own. Don't thank the lug. He didn't want to. That was your idea. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Ann. Say, I could go for her in a big way. Oh, yeah? Well, on your own time. <laughs> Get going. Let's go. Anyway. Ow. Hello, Mommy. Hello, dear. Wasn't that Eve Monroe I saw you with? Yes, and a couple of the boys from school. Oh, I'm so glad you're beginning to make friends. You know, you don't see enough young people. <laughs> Why didn't you bring them in? Why, I never thought of it. Anyway, Eve had to get right home. Oh, uh, how were the examinations today? Fine. All right. Coast is clear. <laughs> what? No interference? Come on, come on, come on. What? Come on. Fine, get on. <laughs> Our operation. Let's have some music. Okay, a little music. <laughs> How are we doing, huh? Woo! Woo! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Ed, my... Woo! Oh, forget. What's hey, a little song? Come on, lady. We need her. Oh, yeah? Oh. Hey, what the heck? You dumbbell. The table. Fancy so meeting you here. <laughs> what technique? He can't take it. Well, Tommy, my boy, here's to you. I'm going to steal 40 winks. And when Jim Wheeler found, you time to be here at 9, because the bunch are dropping by for a drink before we go to the cotton club. Okay. Mother, hmm? do you mind if I have Ann Dixon over to spend the night? Of course not. And the sweet child. Oh, well, Martha, I'm off. You think you'd be late, dear? I hope not. 
These conferences are always such bores. Pardon? Yeah. Good night, dear. Good night, Daddy. Hello? Oh. Good night, dear. Thanks. Hello? Oh, yes. I'll call her. Oh, Anne? Yeah? It's Eve, dear. Hello? I don't think I'd better. Mother's going to be alone. What is it, dear? Mrs. Monroe is going out, and Eve wants me to spend the night with her. Well, uh, what about your homework? I've done it. Oh, well, then you go along. Don't worry about me. Daddy won't be late. All right. Hello. Well, I can come. Goodbye. How are you, my dear? Uh, here, part in. Little drink. Why, like, come on, Jim, the very idea, letting a party die. Oh, well, me first, me first. I think you'll find the dorm moves a little better on this. How about the book? Oh, plenty. How much better than you have that? Listen to this, folks. Oh, hey, sit, oh, please. Please. Now, listen, no traveling salesman. Well, now, prepare yourself for this, gentlemen. Yes. Ladies, you asked me to do it, now I'm going to tell you something. It's rather risque, but then, you oh, know. Oh, can't stand it. <laughs> Ooh. Why, E? Am I blushing? Can you? <laughs> but I've got one that'll top that one. Oh, oh. oh I'm too young to listen. I must leave the room. What is <laughs> this is about a traveling farmer. Not a salesman's daughter. Oh, please. A certain very hot number. Whew, did that lad know his stuff. When he kissed you, you stayed kissed. Nobody could get that dumb in 40 years. <laughs> well, you asked for it. And I got it. <laughs> Mother's party must be getting rough. Well, after that, I guess we all better go. Yeah, get my rat here. Gladly. Is your mother going to marry that Mr. Wheeler? Marry him? <laughs> what for? Why, Dad hasn't even agreed to a divorce yet. So what? Come on. Come on, Ann. Snap out of it. Let's have fun.
It's good. Sure. Atta girl. Why, I didn't know you smoked. <laughs> Try a puff. Oh, I don't think I ought to. Oh, come on, snap out of this baby stuff. <coughs> don't let it throw you. Smart girl. I can see where we're going to have some swell times together. Say, do you know that Tommy's all hot and bothered about you? I kind of like him, too. Hi there, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi boy. Hi, Tommy. Oh. Hi, Tom. Sorry, pal. I'm not going your way today. I catch on. You need any help, Tom? Send for me. Okay, boy. Scram. And, Dan, let me have the last half of that Latin assignment, please. Page 65, the last half of the... Thanks. Thanks. Bye, Ann. Bye, Ann. See you tomorrow. Ann. Ann. I've been waiting for you. I sort of hoped you'd let me take you home. Thanks. That's nice of you. Sorry I didn't take you right home? No, I'm glad. It's lovely here. Gee, Ann, you're sweet. Do you like your Uncle Tommy just a little bit? Mm-hmm. Look. Where? There. Tommy, you mustn't. All right, baby. I'll be good. Oh, Tommy, it's getting late. I must go home. Okay, lady. You're practically there. Say, how'd you like to go out to the lake Friday night? Oh, I... Oh, sure, come on. Listen, we'll get Eve and Ed, and the four of us will have a swell time. Oh, come on. Well, all right. Swell. Have one? <coughs> no, no, honey, look. Like this. See? Oh, gee, Anne, you are sweet. Hey, you egg, where are you? Mommy, Anne. Here we are. Buddy, can you spare a drink? That's sure. an idea. Quit hoarding and crack out with that engine. Women and children first. Well, come on. Oh. 
children. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, watch out, you'll kill it. Oh, I did. <laughs> Come on, boyfriend. Let's go places and do things. The company bores me. You'll pardon this, I trust. Unfinished business. You understand. Glad to get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything we wouldn't do. I fooled him. No, Tommy. How about a little walk? Tommy, look at that moon. I'd rather look at you. Gee, honey, I, I'm crazy about you. Really, Tommy? Is that you, Anne? No, me, dear. Hello. Anne not home yet? Why, no. It's after 11 o'clock. You don't suppose anything's happened? Of course not. Kids never know what time it is. Stop worrying and come to bed. All right, dear. Honey, don't. Please don't. Oh, honey. Don't feel like that, please. Oh, I don't know what to say. Well, I, I wouldn't have dirty you, Fran. I do love you, Ann. I love you. Please. Please don't hate me for, for what's happened. It wasn't your fault, Tommy. Good night, Tommy. You don't hate me. Oh. 
All gone. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's all more, gone. More. <laughs> Come on. Why not? Hey. At the stuff. Pour up again, Hopjoy. Whee, is this stuff got a kick? I feel so funny, Tony. Do you, honey? Don't you feel kind of funny, too, baby? You'd be surprised. Oh, boy. Mama yeah. first. Okay, partner. This is station KIEV. You have been listening to George Slater and his harmonizers from the lodge. The next dance number will be Dearest, with Jay Barry on the vocal. And his girl got mad, John. More of it. I crave entertainment. Where's that guy with these hand organs? Where's, come here. What do you have? Uh, uh, campus crawl, huh? Campus uh -huh. crawl. You know the campus crawl? I know them all. Oh. Come on, Jimmy, sing it. Why, all you need is a healing toll and the big desire to go. Then it's simple to do the campus crawl. Now, first you start with sort of drag. Watch your hips, don't let them sag. That's the movement that starts the campus crawl. Rock, 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 take a slide. Rock, 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 take the bike. Rock, 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 it's simple to do. Now, then try holding your partner close. Nothing fancy, just a pose. Then it's simple to do the campus crawl. Rock, 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 take flight, rock. 
Oh, oh look Bobby. at that girl go. Oh, oh, she's hot. Well, then try holding your pipe to close. Nothing simple, just a bowl. Let him simple just do that cap and sprawl. I don't like this joint. Well, after some of the places we've been lately, I don't wonder. Take a bow, Tommy. You picked the last one. Oh, why bring that up? We've got to see life, haven't we? You won't be able to see anything pretty soon. Don't drink any more, Tommy. All right. All right. No more. Not one more. After this one. Brad, look over there in the first booth. The little brunette. What a dish. Hey, would I like to put her in the book? I didn't know you had any empty pages. Brother loosely system. I know the young punk that's with her. His father's the client of the office. Well, what's holding us up? Do your stuff. Go ahead. Okay, brother. Don't phone me from jail. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ed. Hiya, Brad. I'd like to meet a friend of mine, Ralph Lennon. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, excuse me. Edwin Hall and Dixon. Glad to know you, Miss Dixon. Hello. Should we dance? Coming on. Well, go like your torch, brother. I'll let you do a real thing. You don't need a cap and gown or a high degree. Take your love unto heart, she will fall from the start if you join our fraternity. If you want to snuggle close in that library, when she says that you're fine, you will gladly respond. You'll if sit down you a moment, I'll buy you a drink. Fraternity. <laughs> Little cuties in the best sorority openly say they can uh, really go for all of the majority. Of our handsome brotherhood, they mean it. You don't need a cap and gown or a high degree. Take your love unto heart, she will fall from the start if you join our fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Anne? She's been dancing with Ralph. With Ralph? By the big mug. Well, who's that guy think he is? Tommy, Tommy. Well, he can do that. Now, wait a second. He's only dancing. Wait, wait, wait a second. It's Tommy. I told him not to do so much. It's all right, Sally. Tommy, Tommy, pipe down. Sure, you're, you're big. Come on, Hey, what's, what's the matter? Just another high school hero, eh? Now you're going like a good little boy, or you'll tell it to the judge. Come on. Pull yourself together. Come in. Hey, lay off, you big stiff. You can't pull a gag like that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Don't find out. Yeah. I think yeah. I'm Please, Miss Dixon, you mustn't get mixed up in it. Both of them are pretty tight and not using their heads. Yeah, I hear you. Brad and I will be very happy to see the two girls get home safely. Glad it'll be an awful mess. Perhaps you're right. Thanks. 
thanks a lot. Thank you. This has been my lucky night. When may I see you again? How about lunch tomorrow at the terrace? Yes. Good night. And what about the day after? And maybe the beach the day after that? <laughs> we'll see. All right, fine. Good night. Good night. Your wine, sir. Well, how's about it? Shall I pick you up here about four tomorrow afternoon? Where are we going? Wouldn't you like to know? It had better be good. <laughs> Oh, gee, I've been trying to see you for two weeks. Are you still sore at me for being such an egg that night at the lodge? It's not that, Tommy. It's just that I've been busy, that's all. Busy? Oh, yeah? That Bennett mug. Oh, gee, Ann. Even if I am in the doghouse, don't run around with a guy like that. He's bad news for a girl like you. Want another drink? No, thanks. But I will have a life. Okay. Yama. Yes, sir? Take it away. You like some more, mister? Nothing more, Yama. Yes, sir? Glad you came to my party. Mm-hmm. And I like the people, too. I have to give you a kiss for that sweet little speech. And now something special for a very special girl.
I don't think we better dance anymore. Please let me go, Ralph. It's terribly late. Not until you tell me. Well, that's better. And you will go to Brad's party tomorrow night? Check up with Eve. Brad's expecting us. Night, sweet. Good night. Good night. I can't imagine what keeping you in so late. You ought to be used to it by now. I certainly don't approve of the way these youngsters chase all the time. Oh, <gasps> who's being old-fashioned now? I like to have her with young people. It's good for her. Don't you think it also might be good for her to come home to her meals once in a while? I'll put dinner on the table right away. We won't wait any longer for her. Gwen! Yes, Daddy? Anne, I think you're showing your mother very little consideration being late like this. I'm sorry, Daddy. Mrs. Monroe gave a tea, and Eve and I helped serve. I didn't realize it was so late. Well, all right this time, but no more. Understand? Oh, Andrew, you're home. Come along, you two. Dinner's ready. Mommy, I couldn't. I'm full clear up to here with cake and things. Oh, just a, a little something. I couldn't, please. <laughs> well, your dad stars. Come along, dear. Better change your mind. for tomorrow night. Brad's expecting you. Where's your money? 
did. Well, there it is in my hall. Gotcha. Shoot. <laughs> Come on, Dyke. The natural for little Willie. Come on, snake eyes. <laughs> Who's got snake eyes? Come on. Put up, put up, put no up. You can do. You've cleaned me. Clean? Come on. Somebody pay me here. Baby needs a pair of shoes. Shoes? Oh. Uh -huh. All right, they go. Come on. Somebody pay me. Yeah, Papa see. needs a pair of pants. I'll fix you on the money. Come on, let's eye eye lunch. But I don't know how to fly. Well, then we're a sister win. Dice along for this game. He's not that lucky. Hey, what about letting the fall in there? I say he's not that lucky. Oh, I can't. Come on in. Oh, man, one more time.
Well, why don't you phone the police? Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 going to phone the police or not? Just a minute, dear. Okay. Yeah, Dom. Deserved it. Certainly, madam, right away. There. That'll end that disgraceful performance. Homer? Yes, my dear. That... Some drunks doing it back to nature. Take Mrs. Wagner along with you to round up the females. Okay. I know what my baby needs, a drink. I'll be right back, huh? How about a little kiss before I go, hmm? Mm. Is this large? I'm never going swimming again in the by moonlight. It's getting terribly late. You better get your time. You want all my clothes. Didn't you want to take a little swim, baby? No, Daddy, I'd rather stay here with you. Uh. Come on, get out and get your clothes on. You go on, I'll take care of these two girls. Okay. Come on, get out of here. Come on, get out. What do you mean? We got to go home? All of you. That's all she knew, too. Come on. Oh, you. If I had my head over here, I wouldn't get any trouble like this. I never came out of here. Now, ain't that sweet? You love me just. Come on. Hey, what's your idea, Mr. Matt? You can come, too. Come on. Never mind. Go on. I don't mean anything here. Hey, what is that? Come on. Oh, don't. This is a crime. Two of these girls are nothing but youngsters. We're not here to punish. Our only hope, in fact, our only aim in this juvenile department is to help you youngsters. To set your feet again on the right road. To stop you before it's too late. But if it is too late. No, but it isn't. If you put all this behind you. No, you can still make something fine and worthwhile with your life. But Mother and Daddy will never forgive me. I'm afraid they're going to have a harder time forgiving themselves. Can we go now? Not yet, dear. I've sent for both your mothers, and of course you'll have to be examined first. Examined? examined? The doctor will be here in a few minutes. Burke reported that Mrs. Dixon is on her way, but Mrs. Monroe is out of town. Thank you, Mrs. Dixon. Take the girls to the doctor's office to wait. I'll send for them. I can't 
couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. I always trusted Anne so. But blindly, I'm afraid, Mrs. Dixon, like too many mothers. Our boys and girls today need more than trust. They need the armor of knowledge, of intelligent sex instruction to protect them. Thanks. you, Mrs. Dixon. Your responsibility is to do what's best for your daughter. She's going to need a lot of help. And you mustn't fail her this time. Take care of these. Come on, dear. Bye. Bye. I'm glad you're all right now. And Anne, I'm going away with my father. He's been wonderful. Oh, I'd, I'd die for him. I wish I were dead. Why, Anne, you mustn't talk like that. Honey, what's the matter? I'm in terrible trouble. Oh, Anne. Does, does Ralph know? No. I haven't seen him since that night at Brad. I guess he didn't really care. Or he never... But, Anne, he doesn't know about this. You've got to see him and tell him. Oh, no. I couldn't. Why, honey, when he knows he'll want to do the right thing. He couldn't walk out on you now. You will see him? <laughs> yeah. No, no, Ralph. I couldn't. But it's the only way out. I'm afraid. <laughs> Anne, I'll have to tell you. I can't marry you for a while. I'm not free. That's the only reason I suggested what I did. Go through with this, honey. And in a little while, everything will be all right for us. Won't you trust me? That's a good girl. Come on. Let's go now and get it over with, huh? Sit down, dear. Well, I... Now, don't worry. You're going to be all right. Good afternoon, Mr. Bennett. Good afternoon, Doctor. Uh, may I see you uh, for a moment privately? Yes, of course. In here. Thank you. Sit down, dear. Well, I... Now, don't worry. You're going to be all right. Good 
Good afternoon, Mr. Bennett. Good afternoon, Doctor. Uh, may I see you uh, for a moment privately? Yes, of course. In here. Thank you. Afraid. Don't be, dear. It doesn't amount to anything. I'm ready for the little lady. Well, I, I'm sorry, Maisie, but you're going to miss a hot party. Well, all right. Goodbye. Hmm. Uh, Parkside, 6700. Uh, is Helen there? All right. Well, I'm at you for lunch, Evan. Bennett, what luck? You're just the guy I wanted to see. What's the matter? Another sucker refuses to fall? <laughs> well, I've got this one right on the edge. So I'm throwing a party for him tonight, and it's got to be good. So here, God's gift to women, is where I need your help. Mine? For business or uh, pleasure? <laughs> well, I'll take care of the business, and I'll cut you in on it. I catch on, brother. What type of stock does the uh, gent fancy? Uh, preferred or uh, common? Okay. Prefer, by all means. And uh, I understand that he falls hard when it's a fairly new issue. And dear, I'm late for my dentist appointment. Will you phone the wood? And tell him we'll have to postpone that dinner engagement. Your father's been called out of town for... on business. Why, Andy, you're feverish. Aren't you feeling well? I'm all right, Mother. Just a little headache, that's all. I won't be long. Oh, excuse me, sir. But I, I just heard about Anne. Is she very sick? Yes, Tommy. Very sick. Isn't there, isn't there something I can do, sir? No, Tommy. She's asking for you. Then she's better? No hope? None. Oh. 
Oh, but surely there must be something you can do. I have done everything, but there's no use. We were too late. A clumsy, unsanitary operation, aggravated by some terrific shock. Are you asking God to forgive me? Forgive you? Oh, my baby. I'm the one. I've failed you so utterly. Can you forgive me? It wasn't your fault, Mommy. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy. Such a beautiful road. But it's only 